Exercise 16. On January 1st, KB Shop had $490,000 of inventory at cost. In the first quarter of the year, it purchased $1,630,000 of merchandise, returned $23,500, and paid freight charges of $38,000 on purchased merchandise. Terms FOB shipping point. The company's gross profit averages 30%. And the store had $2,040,000 of net sales at retail in the first quarter of the year. Use the gross profit method to estimate its cost of inventory at the end of the first quarter. To calculate cost of goods sold, we take beginning inventory plus the net cost of goods purchased equals goods available for sale, at which point we would normally subtract the ending inventory to yield cost of goods sold. But there's no reason why we can't switch it around. What we're going to do with the gross profit method is to subtract cost of goods sold to calculate ending inventory. Beginning inventory $490,000 plus the net cost of goods purchased $1,630,000 minus $23,500 in returns plus $38,000 in freight charges $1,644,500. Goods available for sale, $2,134,500. But when we look at the opening information, it might not appear that they gave us cost of goods sold, but they really did. We know that sales minus cost of goods sold equals gross profit. Sales, $2,040,000, is the 100%. And we're told that gross profit averages 30%. If gross profit averages 30% of sales, Gross profit is $612,000, which means cost of goods sold is the remaining 70%, or $1,428,000. Now that we know cost of goods sold, $1,428,000, we subtract it from goods available for sale to give us an estimated cost of ending inventory, $706,500.